Hey guys, here's a quick video. Um, sorry, I made a video in about five days, but um, this is going to show you. This is mainly for iPhone users that um, use Edge and 3G connection a lot. Uh, this is going to make ads like when the web page loads up. It's not going to load up ads on the page. It'll make it load a lot faster. Just a quick little tip. Not really nothing major, but I just want to make this video since I made a, made a video in five about five days. Um, first, you're going to need to download this file, um, and you're going to need to have to be able to SSH into your phone or you can use file browser or whatever you can also do this on iPod touch with your Wi-Fi but Wi-Fi loads up fast enough you don't really need to do this um, download the file there will be a link in the video description over here um, go ahead and download the file and save it to your desktop and now you're going to SSH in your phone I'm going to get it on my computer now okay once you have the uh, file downloaded you're going to SSH in your phone okay and now you're going to go all the way up until you can't go any farther until you're just in the root, the main directory. Okay? And then you're going, going to go into the ECT folder. E ETC. Open that up. And then you'll be in private vault, or private ECT, sorry. Alright, and now you'll see this file called hosts. Alright? Host. Right click on it. Go down to rename. You're just going to make a backup of this file. So you, in case anything goes wrong. Alright. Dot BK. That's all you're gonna do. Oops, I typed wrong. Dot BK. Just like this. And then click off to the side. So it renames, okay? Now you can minimize one SCP. And now you're gonna drag the file into one SCP. Oops. <laughs> drag the file into one SCP and drop it. Okay? Now click copy. We'll copy. Alright. Now you see it. Okay, you see that the file is named host. If it has, um, if the file name has host.html or host.txt after it, um, all you need to do is right click, rename, and just name it just host. No dot anything after it. Okay, and that's all. That's basically it. Just close this, close the connection, and uh, give your phone a full reboot, turn it off, and then turn it back on. It was just a quick little tip video, nothing really special. Just wanted to give you guys a video. Turn it off, turn your phone back on, and then you'll have ad-free Safari. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe and join the forum at tiesiphonehelp.com slash forum. Link in the video description. Oh, and I just about forgot to mention this. Uh, this video was provided by iPhoneFreaks.com. That's where I got the information from. Alright, thanks for watching.